Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. It's great to have you, and welcome back to all of our subscribers. I appreciate you all being here, and if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for the very first time, welcome as well, and uh, while you're here, please uh, hit that subscribe button, please hit the like button, consider becoming a member, and then to learn more about me, learn more about my company, and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out the links below. Now, with that said, our topic for you today is five common excuses that gym owners use, or maybe everybody, okay, use when business is bad. You know, five common excuses that are used when business is bad, okay? Now, before I get into this, and I'll give you the five common excuses, let, let's talk about the issue of accountability, okay? Because when you start looking at everything that you do, whether you, you own a gym, you're, you run a bunch of them, you're a salesperson, you're a sales manager, there's only one thing you have control over, and that's you. That's it, okay? And if you wanna change something else, you wanna change someone else, we first change ourself, okay? That's all we have control over. Okay, we don't have control over all these outside influences. Okay, so I want you to really give that some thought. When we start pointing the finger, oh, it's this, oh, it's this, oh, it's this, oh, it's this, we're giving power to all of that. You know, w w when you put that, that finger of blame, you know, you give up your power to change. And what we want to do is we want to stay accountable. Okay, not always the easiest thing for some folks to do, but if you want to have that massive level of success, it will be necessary that we do it. So I want to talk about a few of these excuses that we hear and maybe some ways to mitigate it. And so number one, the economy is bad. The economy is bad. That's why we're not doing so good. Okay, well, as with any excuse, okay, the economy is bad. Okay, that's either going to be a gigantic problem or it's going to be a gigantic opportunity. Because if that's true, that the economy's bad, people are going to stop advertising, stop promoting, they're going to start talking about how bad it is. Well, great. Do I see this as a problem or as an opportunity? If I see it as an opportunity, hey, I'm going to push into the marketplace. I'm going to advance and expand into the marketplace. It doesn't have to cost much money. It doesn't have to cost any money, really, if you know how to do it. And, and you know, check on this channel. There's plenty of videos on how we can push into the marketplace without spending money. But we can push and expand into the marketplace. You know, if we're truly solving problems for people, they're still going to buy. People are still going to buy. They're always going to buy. Okay? As long as we believe they will, as long as we follow the proper steps. Okay? Number two, I don't have the time to improve. I don't have the time to improve. You know, you know, we're accountable, right? You know, if we want to change somebody else, we got to first change ourselves. I don't have time to improve. And, you know, when I hear that excuse, you know, the first thing I always think of is, you know, really what our, one, of, one of our jobs is to protect our most valuable asset. What's our most valuable asset? Well, it's us. It's you. That's the most valuable asset. Okay? How are we getting better? I mean, use this channel. I talk to you know numerous folks that use this channel as uh, as their way to improve because they can listen to it you know twenty four seven, all the time, okay, and get information that can help them get better, okay. But protect your number one asset. Become a student, okay. Be become an ex expert at what you do, expert in fitness, an expert on your company, of the industry, of sales, of management, of people. Okay, take the time to do this and just do a little bit every day. It's like if you're watching these videos, you know, you know, take 15, 20, 30 minutes a day to watch them every day. And we have, gosh, what, 1,100 videos here on the channel by now. There's a lot to listen to. And just take a little bit at a time, but be consistent with it. But protect your most valuable asset because the reality is going to be this. You're either going to be getting better or you're going to be getting worse. There's no staying the same. Okay, and your education, your knowledge of this is the only way it's going to go up. Uh, number three, I have too much competition. Okay, I have too much competition. You know, that's why business is bad. Well, you know, the thing is, we don't want competition at all, really. 
okay? And so the first thing you want to look at is what do you do better than everybody else? What, what can you bring to the marketplace that nobody else is doing? I mean, first thing I would do, if I'm using that excuse or my people are using that excuse, let's go out and shop the competition. What are they doing? What are we doing better than them? What can we bring to the marketplace that's missing? Because what you're looking for here is, um, is, is differentiation. That's what you're looking for. Because if you have differentiation, true differentiation, competition's gone. It's gone if it's true differentiation. You know, so what are you doing that's better than everybody else? And what's missing? What's not being brought to the marketplace that people need and want? You know, how are you serving? Are you marketing and promoting to what I would call an uncontested market space? It's roughly 80% of the audience out there we're not marketing to. How can we start to market and promote to those folks to get them in? Your competition's not doing it. You know, this opens another, you know, gigantic door for you. Uh, number four, I don't have the money to improve. I don't have the money to improve. And so let me give you a couple thoughts on here. Let's, you know, A... You know, we don't want to make the excuse, right? You know, we want to be accountable. Let's don't put the power, let's don't give the power to somebody else. I don't have the money to improve. Well, first of all, this YouTube channel is free. Okay, you can log on 24-7, check it out, over 1,100 videos, and learn how to build and develop and grow your business. And in most cases, it's showing things that aren't going to cost you additional money. Okay, so... You don't need money to improve. You know, I'll give you an example. We had a club a few years back, an old, old, old club. And I can go into some detail about how old this place really was. But it was old. And they had a lot of old equipment. And uh, we did a pretty good job of sales because, you know, selling is about a little bit something different. And uh, But, you know, the members, they wanted something new and wanted different things. And, and we'd elected to uh, just rearrange the club. And we, we rearranged the whole thing. We changed it all out. Okay, same equipment. We just rearranged it and changed how we did things. You know, here's going to be shoulders, here's arms, and we just did it different. And folks came in Monday and they were so excited. Oh, you guys finally got new equipment. This is fantastic. You know, so look for ways. Be creative. You know, sometimes sometime just a fresh coat of paint. And maybe you can do a trade out and, uh, and get it painted. Okay. Um, and number five, the Internet took my customers everybody's working out online okay and you know look we, we want to choose to be accountable the the nature of the fitness industry is that human connection number one okay you know i talk to a lot of folks that run online businesses and they talk about oh it's, it's so difficult you know now that clubs are getting back open again because everybody wants to go back because they want the human connection but then i go to the club and they say, oh yeah too many people they still want to work out online Okay, all it is, is, is making the excuse, quite frankly, choose to be accountable. If it is to be, it's up to me. Okay, we're going to create a product that everyone wants to go to because, you know, when it comes to exercise and fitness, what we see in so many clubs, it's the human connection, it's the sense of community, okay, but also it's the entertainment component, it's the experience okay that people get when they come in that's what people want okay so let's don't say the internet's going to take our customers but also hey on your website create an internet component i mean i i would uh, i would have that on there and this can be a small part of what you do but i'd sell memberships they can join online and they can you have all the videos of how all, all the programs they can use to get the results they want no matter where they live but the, the big message here on the excuses, you know, I did an article several years back, you can probably research it online, uh, death of a gym salesperson, you know, death of a gym salesperson. And uh, what it was, was all the excuses that we make, all the things that we do that push people away, okay, without us really realizing. It's what, it's what causes good people to fail, right? And so what we want to do, be accountable, know that if we want to change others, we first change ourselves. We are the only thing we have total control over. Okay. It's either going to be a giant problem or it's going to be a giant opportunity. Let's make it an opportunity. If you're, if you're not sure, you know, check out the bl links below. Uh, you can click the link. We are offering a 45 minute free 
uh, strategy session. You want to get that set up, you know, click that link, get that set up. Happy to chat with you about how you can do some of this and start to grow your business. You are your most valuable asset. We want to protect it. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management Consulting. Appreciate you being here. And if you've not yet done so, please consider, you know, hitting that subscribe button, hitting the like button, and, uh, you know, check out the links below to learn more about me and my company and how we can help take you to that next level. And we'll look forward to seeing you all in that next video.